Good morning. I'm so glad you're at Laura Bush today. We're excited we're, to be we're here. We're all about student leadership here. So our motto is leading with our hearts and minds. So I'm going to show you some students leading. So the first thing we're going to do is go into this kinder class where a kinder student actually leads the number corner for math. So let's go see what's happening. Okay, so in kindergarten, um, from the beginning of the year, we teach the children how to run our calendar time. And they actually pull sticks out of a cup, so it's random, and they don't know who's going to be called. And then there's a leader at the calendar who asks them a question once they're called on. Carlos. Carlos. What is the year? What do you want to do? Good job. So they are understanding patterns, um, they're understanding weather, weight, uh, measurement is this month. I like to see them learning from each other yes. and Thank also you. that leadership being in front of the class and just all the getting all of them Good to participate. Skills, yes. Okay, so as you know, leadership is our thing. And so um, we're going to go into a fifth grade classroom where they're leading book groups. So each person in the group has... Um, has a role in that group, but I want you to particularly pay attention to the group leader because they're the ones that ask the questions and keep it going, and it's just exciting to see them leading their peers in conversations. So you call her the what, the director? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right, director. So tell us what what the direct the role of the director. So I ask questions and we just kind of share our opinions. Yeah. What you're seeing is students taking initiative on their reading and discussing it. So do y'all all look at each other's drawings to kind of see how... Yeah, we all have different jobs. I got illustrators, so I drew okay. and she... What's that? I the connector and list of... So they have, they're in groups and they have chose the book that they're going to read and they're choosing the pace that they're reading and then they all get together when they're on the same page and have discussion notes ready to have a discussion about the book that they're reading. Do you find yourselves learning from each other like, oh, there was something I didn't catch, but she caught it or something mm -hmm. like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so the next level of leadership is seeing a need and then filling it. And so I'm introducing you to Nisha. She is a fifth grader, and she saw a need and asked me about it. And I said, write a proposal. And she wrote me this beautiful proposal. And so we're doing it now, and I want her to talk about it. Uh, so my idea was Bestie Day. It's like kind of a day where you make sure everyone feels loved and um Kind of you include everybody. What are some of the ways you make people feel special or included on that day? Well, um, some of the things that I kind of want to highlight it in, in for Bestie Day was like the diversity and that's kind of like what brings us together. So an idea that I had was a paper chain that like that everyone makes one and then, then we put it all together to show that our bond is like our diversity is what makes our bond. So this is our destination imagination team that we share with Steiner Ranch and they did a really impressive service project for us this year so I wanted them to talk about it a little bit. Samar and Neil, they're brothers and so they're going to talk about it. Uh, so the challenge we did is service learning and uh, we chose to do like helping kids with reading. We made a little library so um, people can borrow and put the books back when they're done reading. Very cool, so when you go to Globals for Destination Imagination, um, you have to have your presentation and you have your props. What's, what's your prop that you're gonna take? So we bring the back, we're gonna bring a, our background and a robot. Okay, a robot. Tell me about the robot. So the robot is like, you have a card, one side of it is has a word and the other side has a picture. So what you do is you put it through the slot of its mouth and there's like a curve here so it turns upside down. Then it shows the picture of the word. Ah, uh, that sounds fun. Are y'all excited? Yeah. yeah. Here at Bush Elementary, we lead with our hearts and minds. Thanks for visiting.